Okay, next up for X231's engine is going to be the cylinder blocks and pistons and rods. And I've got everything I need over here to do with the new 20,000s undersized rod bearings, the cylinder block gaskets, and all the hardware cleaned up ready for reassembly. And since those components are going to add a lot of weight to the engine block, I also fastened the front support brace to it. It's bolted onto the engine stand at the front and also attaches to the front of the engine block to help add extra support. So I've got both the cylinder blocks ready to be placed on the main engine block and I've got them joined to one another with the new water tube that goes between them with a new o-ring on each end of the tube and I'm using the rocker carrier as a, an alignment tool in this case. I have it temporarily bolted to the tops of both cylinder blocks to help make the whole assembly more rigid and keep things in alignment better as I go and place it on the main engine block. And now I've just got to loosely install all the retaining bolts and nuts for the cylinder block so that I can get them aligned with the crankshaft. Now we'll do the pistons. Get this last bolt out here, pull the cap off, and now I'll see what my plastic gauge reads. All right, looking about two thousandths. I like that. Now to repeat for the rest of them. Okay, all four pistons are in and every rod bearing journal has been plastic gauged to make sure the clearances are all good and I was real happy with all that come together. The last thing I need to do is neutralize the cylinder blocks with the pistons and the crankshaft and the way you do that is just to have all of the nuts and bolts backed off just a little bit so that as I roll the engine over several revolutions, if anything wants to move or change position, it should find where it wants to be. It rolls over pretty nice. Get a little bit of drag from the new piston rings, but that's to be expected. So, last thing to do is just torque down all of the fasteners for the cylinder blocks, and this part of it should be done. So that about does it for another day in the shop. I got the fasteners torqued down for the cylinder blocks on both sides of the engine, and I finished up with putting the oil supply tubes on the front and center main bearings. So. The plan is just to keep going ahead with the reassembly. I've got a lot of pieces on the shelf that I want to get off of the shelf and get put into the engine, so that's likely what the next video is going to be. Guys, if you enjoy what you're seeing, hit the like button down below. Um, subscribe to the channel while you're at it. I really appreciate it. That's all I got for now, so thanks for watching.